I am Dr. Rakesh Ghar. I will be speaking on case record form as a part of e-courses for medical research methodology for ISCCM. The case record form is an important document for conducting any clinical trial where it is designed to record all the protocol required information on a specified format that is designed for that particular study and that collects an individual study subject all the information that are desirable as per the protocol uh, which has been submitted. So when we say a protocol uh, submission, the CRF or the case record form also needs to be designed along with the protocol so that it matches both of them. The case record form could be on the electronic format which is uh, recently more uh, commonly being used but traditionally it is more in the paper format majority of places. When we say case record form it has some very common attributes like uh, which is essential. It should be accurate, it should be consistent, it should be complete. They should be very, very clear so as to have the correct information that is desirable for that particular protocol or the study. For easy exchange of data between the different persons who are involved in that particular research, it promotes monitoring and investigator staff efficiency as well uh, because if same data is missing somewhere, the case record form will able to, the, uh, be able to detect uh, by the principal investigator about those deficiencies and can be corrected. It also allows merging of data between different studies which sometimes may be required for systematic review and meta-analysis and it increases obviously the efficiency in processing and analysis of data which is the definite outcome for a particular trial. The good case record form must be very user friendly then only we can expect a complete data. It should be structured, it should follow the protocol as has been designed, it should be uncluttered and well organized. So these attributes are very, very essential and in subsequent uh, slides we will show you that how these attributes can be translated into the case record form and uh, whatever we are asking in a case record form may be like questions, maybe data, maybe collection of events at multiple time intervals. They should be well designed so that the repetency or the uh, redundancy are not there by person who are collecting those data and they are very well mentioned in the case record form itself. For the case record form, we go through a certain process which is design followed by development and obviously we have to have quality assurance and its approval from the team that are involved in that particular study. We need to have a CRF version control process because at times it needs to be revised maybe in the beginning itself, maybe sometimes after the study also. So the version number should be very, very clear and the most important aspect, the personals who are filling up the CRF must be trained how to use them as well. The components of CRF are designed and they are individualized as per the requirement of protocol or the, the type of study we are doing it. So it has to be modified according to that particular uh, protocol requirement and it needs to be done in such a way that the collection.